Afeni Shakur was more than Tupac's mother. If you refer to her as Tupac's mom or just the lady that he rapped about in Dear Mama, you'll really, really miss the substance of this great woman. Afeni Shakur has a liberation legacy that needs to be studied separate and apart from her son's art, her son's music, and her son's impact. While her son was a major part of her legacy, long before Tupac Shakur ever rapped a rap bar or a rap verse, his mother was a stone cold soldier. Now she was born in North Carolina and she moved to New York City. And they say at the age of 19, she had the pleasure of meeting Malcolm X through the Shakurs. And the Shakurs were Lumumba Shakur, which is, I believe was her husband, Matulu Shakur. These were brothers who rolled with Malcolm. And a lot of people don't understand or they don't know the, the, the legend of the Shakur and the Malcolm X or the Malcolm Little uh, friendship. Like they were very, very tight. So once Malcolm was assassinated, and they started the Black Panther Party out west when Huey P. Newton and Eldridge Cleaver and the others out west began to get the party up. When they looked for leadership out on the east coast, then they tapped the Shakurs. Now by this time, I believe Afeni had became a Shakur herself and they started uh, raising up the Black Panther Party in, Bron in the Bronx and in Harlem and in New York City. And Afeni Shakur was a leader in the Black Panther Party in Harlem. She wasn't just a member. She was an organizer. She was a master paralegal. She was very, very articulate. And she had great leadership skill. Now this is a woman now during a period where men were leading the Panther Party, women were kind of put on the back burner, but it was really the women who were the wind beneath the wings of the party. And that's what Beyonce was trying to say in her halftime performance when she gave a salute to the women of the Black Panther Party out in Oakland. So, Afeni Shakur and 20 other Panthers were arrested and they were charged with conspiracy to kill a police officer. They were charged with conspiracy to blow up a police station. They were charged with conspiracy to grow up, blow up educational centers and I mean, all kind of stuff. And at that time, you know, the FBI was on fire with this COINTELPRO program where they infiltrated these organizations and they placed informants in these organizations to create division and to foment strife among the members of the organization because they feared the rise of a black messiah or the rise of a black leader who would come up to unite the masses of the people. They feared this so much. Afeni Shakur was right there in the mix and this was long before Tupac was born. So you got 21 Panthers locked up in jail and they only had the money to bail out one Panther. Who did they choose to be the one to get bonded out? It was Afeni Shakur. Why? They needed her to be the spokesperson for the other 20. That's how valuable she was. So she was released on bond, and while released on bond, that's when she got pregnant with Tupac Shakur. And the bond was revoked for whatever reason. They brought her back to lockup and Henceforth goes the story where she had Tupac in her womb while she was locked up. What they don't tell you is that Afeni Shakur in New York legal court defended herself against 156 counts of conspiracy and won. Let me say that again. They say that this was the longest trial in New York City history. And she did this while she was pregnant with Tupac. What a woman. What a woman. 
She defended herself in court and beat 156 counts. And her acquittal was the catalyst to get the other 20 acquitted because if she proved her innocence and they were all charged with the same thing, then she proved their innocence as well. And it was called the Panther 21 trial. There have been books written about it long before Tupac ever rapped a rap verse. Um, she became a star on the speaker circuit. She was speaking in colleges and so on and so forth. This was a warrior woman. Now, after it was over and the FBI redoubled its efforts in its infiltration of the Panther Party, and you out there who still believe that the government of the United States of America does not send spies and stool pigeons in among us and into our organizations. I mean, you, 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 you really, really, really need to wake up. So they took down the Panther Party. Um, if you know the history, you know what they did to Fred Hampton. It was an informant that gave up the intel on where Fred Hampton would be. They even say that they drugged Fred Hampton. Mark Clark killed. They say even when Huey was killed in the 80s, that that was orchestrated by the enemy. And so as the Panther was disbanding, Afeni Shakur, they say, would try to go and gain employment, get little jobs to be able to feed her children. And they would follow her and they would go to every employer that hired her and make them terminate her. So she would move from New York, then she moved to Baltimore, then out west to Oakland where the other Panther family was and her family got broken apart. See, this is what they, they do to you when they have a design on you. This is what they do to you when they make a decision that they can't allow you to continue your work. See, she won that case. But after she won that case, they were not going to forgive her. They weren't going to let her off scot-free. So she was still a target. Even after the Panther Party was disbanded. So this is a woman, and of course, you know, she ended up um, falling victim to drug addiction, which is something that she ultimately overcame. And I think she spent the latter part of her years protecting her son's estate and things of that nature. But we're always taught by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that any time any one of us do even this much to elevate the consciousness of our people and to pave the way for freedom, justice, and equality for our community, that we must make sure we give a proper salute to that individual and laud them and applaud them because the little that they did may someday equal a whole lot. So I just want to give a proper salute to our sister Afeni Shakur and remind everybody that if the fruit was great, then what do you say about the tree? And she was more than Tupac's mom. She was a revolutionary with a liberation legacy. Thank you.